Hello, I'm on my 30 minute break here. This company, Western Express lies. And they've been doing some, I don't know what they call themselves doing, but they've been doing some doggish ass treatment about their cash advances. I'm an independent contractor entitled to a cash advance. Now, when I first signed on with the company, first they told me, first they lied to me, told me they gave me a cash advance, go over to the pilot and get it, because they had me waiting extremely long to get started. So I went over to the pilot, then I couldn't get the cash advance, ended up having to walk all the way from the pilot in Nashville back to the terminal because the shuttle bus came in there and pulled out and didn't pick me up, passed me on the way back. So I go in there, and then they want to disclose, uh, you're not supposed to get a cash advance till you're on the load. I said, I told them all that before I had the cash advance. I said, you know, delayed me getting started. The truck had to go in the shop, and I can't keep sitting here without any money coming in. Then I need a cash advance. So the dispatcher gave me a $100 cash advance, which I tried to get and couldn't get, and came back over the cause of fiasco. They didn't want to talk about, well, you need to be dispatched on the load. Now you want to talk that dispatched on the load shit. They like going behind themselves lying. You're going to give me the cash advance. I took pictures of it on this on this unit here. And right now you see a message that I just got from the night dispatcher. My fleet dispatcher this morning left without giving me the cash advance. And now the cash advance, they told me, now it's supposed to be based off when you get dispatched on the load. So when I came out from home time, after I had to go deal with the matter about my apartment because of this goddamn motherfucking sorry ass Western Express company, told me, well, you need to be dispatched on the load and picked up. Now first when I was at the terminal, when I first got hired here, they said all you needed to be was dispatched on the load. They must think I'm new, brand new to trucking and dumb on the procedures of cash advances. You don't go through all this shit about a damn cash advance. Western Express is being nothing but doggish and ridiculous. And I should they should have never recruited me here. I'm a driver that should not even be here. And the, the, the whole department here, the dispatchers, the guy that oversees the leasing, the recruiters, been doing nothing but lying and nothing but doggish ass behavior here. Messing over me. So this is the current message that just came in when I sent a message about the day of cash advance. My dispatcher... Uh, left without getting it uh, sent to me. Now, he was the one that told me when I came out on home time today that uh, I was supposed to get a load, go pick it up, the load I picked up in Ohio, then I can get a cash advance. No, it was yesterday. So I ended up waiting till the day to put in for the cash advance, deliver that load. I'm under another load. So I'm done. This will be a total of probably about over 800, 900 miles in loads. I put in for a simple petty ass hundred dollar cash advance okay i'm gonna show you when i put in for it these are all my messages what happened to the cash advance what's going on here is ridiculous you all need to be sued that they do need to be sued way advance this is at 441 let me scroll down to when i put in for the damn advance Here's way advanced again at 4.30 p.m. Advanced request. You see the time? That's 10.42 a.m. That's central time. So that means it was 11.42 because I was on eastern time where I was getting loaded at. And I said it was for scales and personal. And you know why I said it was for scales? Because the load that they dispatched me on, they put a weight in there of 42,000 and something. But the load actually ended up 8,000. That's why I ended up asking for the cash advance because I'm, I'm out of money. These people that had me in jeopardy of losing my motherfucking apartment. So you see the time. I put in for an advance request of $100. That's my driver's code. I said scales and personal. I'm independent contractor. I really don't have to tell them why I need the damn advance. It's a simple fucking $100. Then I sent a message do you see what my settlement going to be for Friday? He didn't answer that. Because I'm trying to get the news now how broke I'm finna fucking be. Because the truck note comes out of that. This is my dispatcher here that they assigned me to. They gave me to this guy to keep me from quitting damn near two weeks ago. Told me to try this guy. Uh, same shit. Okay, I got loaded at 1119. Departed the shipper 1119. From 11 night from... 
10.42 to 4.30 p.m., which is 5.30, which is daytime. And this is 4.30 Central Time. Remember, we're on Central Time because I'm out of Nashville. So all these times is they Central Times. Supposed to be anyway, but I've seen that they, for some reason, they Qualcomm message, the messages come in on Eastern Time and their e-log is logging under Central Time. And I don't understand how that's happening. But anyway, this is when I got loaded. 10.42, all the way to 4.30. He ain't sent no advance. So this is the message he sent about the damn advance. Let me go to the inbox. This is the working on it. That's a response of me telling him to get me a load to Nash straight to Nashville because I'm out of here. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this company. Has arrived. Oh, now they want to send messages now. Bunch of bullshit. Now, this is my dispatcher here. This is his response to where my advance at. He just put the number five. This is the dumb shit I deal with here at Western Express. Dumb shit. Oh, now, since I complained about the advance, oh, here, here's the van, here's the advance authorization. Cause I'm gonna complain about it now. But wait a minute. Here, here's the message that they just sent me telling me you have nothing available for an advance. This is not a bank. I don't have to save up for an advance. We put in for it, you give it. Now, if it's an excessive amount, that's when they have to approve it. This is another one of the reasons I'm leaving Western Express. This is a doggish ass company. They dog you out. You don't make no money. They like to make you beg and you'll lose your housing fucking around with them. And I'm an independent contractor here. I'm on my way out of here. You've seen the messages. If you come here behind all this, that's on you. 